Tim. Hey, Jim. How you doing? I am doing fantastic, my friend. How are you? I'm doing fine. Absolutely wonderful. Let me uh, let me do a few things here. Um, can you tilt your uh, your laptop screen toward you? All I'm seeing is the top of your head. There you go. That's better. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yes, it has. <laughs> How have you been? I've been good. Awesome. I've been trying to hit your uh, stream a couple nights in a row, but uh, I haven't had much luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It's uh, it's one of those things where, um, well, like this weekend. Well, actually, last week I was just so busy that I, I couldn't do it. And uh, we'll see if I can resume you here. And um, and then the weekends that was just that was just for fun. And plus I had to, you know, I had to check out my uh, my audio settings and whatnot. You just having problems with them, like it? No, I wasn't having problems so much as um, I changed it out. I went from the the old Behringer, and I'll I'll wing that up here in a minute. Oh, that was nice. That's what happens when you're standing on the cables. I went from this old Behringer um, 1202, just a little mixer that I actually use to mix my drums when I'm out live, to my XR18, which I use for all the uh, the sound reinforcement for the band. So it works out pretty well. Works out pretty well. But it's a whole nother beast, right? You've got to you got to make sure that you got your mix minus set up. That's how. That's how you can hear me, but you can't hear yourself. Because if you heard yourself, it would be delayed and it would just jack with your brain. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of echo now with you. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, you shouldn't. I actually hear something weird long when you delay. when you talk. Is there a long delay? Well, it's an echo. I hear you, then I hear you repeat it in the background. Oh, that might be our connection. Because I've had I've had that before. Yeah, that's weird because I can hear like when you speak, not when I speak, but when you speak, I, I get a uh, like a like a ring echo. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. Well, is it is it too bad to, to talk or? No, it's fine. <laughs> okay. I think we should reel from the echo. <laughs> <laughs> so what we learned about Tim outside of uh, our meeting, our our, uh, our real world meeting uh, about a month ago, um, is that. Uh, I learned that you you um, you understand weapons. <laughs> oh yeah, I custom AR-15s and AR-10s. Oh man, we didn't even talk about that. I'm I'm actually quite shocked that we didn't. <laughs> so um, and and we also didn't uh, talk. Do you do you have military background, Tim? No, I don't. Oh okay, okay. My father does. Who? My father. Oh okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was uh he was stationed with uh, Elvis. Down oh. Fort Hood. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. We got they got shipped to Germany together and everything, and I was born at Fort Hood. Oh, you were. That's yeah. that's wild. Um, that's wild. So you're the fame is uh, Elvis held me as a baby. <laughs> so you're you're an army brat. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. You know, that was uh, that was actually my first uh, duty station when I got out of uh, AIT, but uh, they sent me to Fort Lewis instead. That would have been cool. I would have had first-hand knowledge of it. <laughs> Fixing my laptop. Oh. I can't. Uh, <laughs> right here. Are we listening to your laptop uh, microphone? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that's the connection. Like I said, that that's the first time that's uh, happened last night we had two people on and it was uh it was real clean albeit uh yeah one gal was in a bar and that 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 uh oh you know you've seen sonia on the channel before <clears throat> yeah she called in last night and helped me test and she was at a bar so that, that was a little loud but uh we didn't have any we didn't have any feedback issues right right and uh now now tim and i are in the same town we're we both hover around indianapolis which is uh a cool place to be if uh, if you're us <laughs> and I've been talking to uh, Ghost Dog. Who? Ghost Dog. I haven't heard here in Indianapolis too. Oh. Ghost Dog Fifty Four. Uh huh. Yeah, he's got a channel. He's a gaming channel. Oh, okay. So 
Uh, Where, uh, where'd you meet him, Tim? Uh, at uh, Nimmin. Oh, okay, okay. Nimmin, yeah. Yeah, I am getting some really weird feedback. Let me kill some of these effects here. Let's see if that takes care of it. Go ahead and say something, Tim. Yeah. Nah, okay. we're still getting a little bit of it, yeah. Nah, we'll just yeah. deal with it. We'll just deal with it. <laughs> with uh, closing it and coming back in help? Uh, it may, but, um, yeah. If you wanted to try that, that'd be cool. We'll give that a shot. Yeah, let me try that. Okay. All right, well, I'll wait for Tim. So, guys, what are you doing for your equipment if you uh we've already heard from there's tim again we've already heard from oh, oops i just, just unmuted you oh he's out again okay um yeah we've we've already heard from manic and oh mia diva how you doing thanks for thanks for coming to the show man thanks for coming to the show so um yeah manic uh, manic has already told us about his setups and what he's doing did you tell us what kind of board you're getting in um manic let me see rolling back through the chat a little bit <clears throat> nope not yet but um awesome oh <laughs> uh, just trying to have fun man just trying to have fun as you well know <laughs> Oh, that was loud. All right. There we are. Tim is back. Unmute. Cool. Sounds better this time. Yeah, I'm hearing a little bit still, but uh, we're just going to have to deal with it. I may have to I may have to check some settings on my side. Find out what's going on. Which is cool. It's it's never done, man. It is never done. <laughs> <laughs> So what's new? Uh, what's new in your world, Tim? Oh, not much. Not much. I mean, it's just been uh, trying to get everything uh, going, and had the microphone issue, and I'd recorded the video and no audio, so I had to re redo the whole video. Oh, yeah. Been there, done that, my friend. Yeah. When now? Now, um, what I'd really like you to hear from you is. Um, is, is about your new channel. Hey, you haven't launched it yet, have you? No, it's about to go. Oh, okay. Did you want to? Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, sure. Because uh, I'm interested. Go, go right ahead. Floor is yours. <laughs> basically, uh, tech reviews. Anything tech to do with YouTube, basically. Uh, we might get into a little bit of other tech. You know, any type of technology like. You know, I was thinking about even doing the uh, new electronic triggers for ARs. Oh. Yeah. And see, those things are programmable. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And they can only be programmed so fast. So, you know, that even though your finger may be fast as far as pushing the little button, mm -hmm. it's only going to fire so fast. Right, right. So it, it's pretty neat deal. And actually, a college student. Is the one that invented that hmm. and he's got the patent on it so wow wow i haven't been reading up on that at all yeah i suppose i should but uh uh you know it's 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 the hobby thing getting in the way again i'm gonna have to go check that out yeah well sometimes life gets in the way right oh man <laughs> don't you know it don't you know it um so yeah so you're going to review products is, is that right yeah, we're going to review products, cameras, microphones, uh, sound boxes, uh, audio interfaces, uh, uh, camera links, you know, such things like that. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I've got uh, several products that's already come in, and I've got a pile of, of about four foot high of products to start reviewing. Yeah, I remember you said you had that pile when we met. <laughs> I yeah, <laughs> imagine yeah. it's only gotten larger. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to do some, uh, some like, uh, giveaways for, uh, like, uh, green screens and some end screens. So I'm going to, you know, mm -hmm. custom design them for some people and put them out there. And I think it would be pretty cool. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, Mia Diva wants to know uh, if you've got a, uh, if you got your channel up yet. 
because now would actually be a pretty good time to get uh, subscribers before you actually go live. <laughs> actually, actually uh, not my branded channel, but my my Tim Young's channel. Mm. I've got seven subscribers, so there's no videos on it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? How does that even happen? I, I've, I don't know. I, I thought you had to have videos to have subscribers, you know? Well, no, you don't have to. But but what, I, what I'm what i always amazed at is I'll, I'll go to some of these channels, uh, you know, because you and I, we, we hit a lot of the, the other live streams. I love watching other people do live streams. And you go there, and then you you know you sometimes you just see a a name that uh, that trips your trigger. So you go visit their channel. You find out they got zero content and hundreds of subscribers. Yes, I know. <laughs> and all these, I think all these subscribers came from them in live. Yeah, yeah. On the chat. Yeah, that and the other uh, live streams. I'm sure they're hitting. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. And yep. <laughs> I've gotten a real good friend, you know, from them in live. Uh, the Mitten Dad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wonderful guy and uh, we've been talking and stuff and i sent him some uh some links for some gopro stuff that i've used and uh -huh. everything got the gopro uh, hero 7 which is really a superb camera I mean, mm. it, it's better than the hero 5. oh cool cool yeah i uh, thought thought about going down the the uh the gopro myself actually you know what i, I thought uh since you're going to do this, and since we're so close, I'm I'm thinking that maybe I can bring over some of my equipment, and let you do a, a review on it. Maybe it, maybe it'd be a, a collaboration of sorts, uh, yeah. Out of out of this arena. <laughs> yeah, well, your your cameras and everything. You know, I could come there and do a filming and show mm -hmm. show your equipment set up and everything. Say, well, this is how a live video show is done. You know, a yeah. video calling show. Yep. Yep. I could do that video, and then you could do a video on me. You know, <laughs> I love collaboration. That's that's yeah, one of the reasons I started this. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's a good way to go. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I've been I've been playing a lot with uh, keywords right now. Oh, good, good. I'm good. trying to figure out the SEO and everything, and I on the first two videos, I've got them toned in. Mm -hmm. They're saying go after small. The small numbers, you know, like six hundred and twenty a month or something like that. And I'm going, nah. <laughs> well, no, I'll... I'm going in this not to. I'm not going in to play. Mm -hmm. I'm going in to make waves. <laughs> well, I think I told you this when we met that um, I've been doing SEO and SEM for for years. Uh -huh. And there's a there's a lot to be said for when you say small volume, you you mean small search volume keyword right. praises. Uh, there's a lot of value to that, especially when it's when it's really relevant to like like the product you're going to uh, review, uh -huh. uh, because then you cut down your competition. See the the problem with the um, the keywords that they're usually shorter and have so much more competition. So <laughs> there's a lot of value behind those long tails that uh, that don't get a whole lot of love, but they do have love. <laughs> well, the long tail has got a lot, a lot of uh, search history, okay? Mm -hmm. But I can split up the long tail into two or three groups, mm -hmm. and they have big history too. So oh, yeah. I'm thinking as a new channel, this would be the time to do that because YouTube's going to take that new channel and promote it harder. Well, you would think. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> well, I don't know. As, um, since you're I going to we'll find out. Yeah. Well, since you're going to be doing canned yeah. videos, that may be true. But uh, for yeah. for us live streamers, uh, and and you know, you've been with me for a while, so you've you've heard me piss and moan about the you know the live channel and how it uh, it's so miscategorized and and people like us don't get exposure. They they have uh, previous uh, live streams of like three and four and five days old and like they're trying to tell me that nobody is live streaming <laughs> but you you look at you look at nicks and uh, oh my gosh you know even afterwards he's got like forty five thousand views of it yeah i know i know the live show you know it's like holy cow you know well it helps when you've got you know three uh three hundred thousand plus uh, subscribers for sure because I, I imagine he's uh, he's backing that up with a uh, a great email campaign, right? So those people who don't care about the notifications or don't ring the bell, he'll just hit them with with a whole lot of messaging uh, straight up, and that's. I don't think he has uh, 
only the people that get the email is the ones that is on his membership. Yeah, the membership. But you can you can actually take the uh, the subscriber list, and you you could you could IM. I'm I'm sure that there's I haven't looked for them, but I'm uh -huh. sure that there's programs where you could uh, probably do not a um, uh, well yeah broadcast without without spam. I, I bet you any anything that there's a way to do it. It would it would be on their channels specifically. I'll have to look into that. But right. anyway. <laughs> I just know when you when you've got that kind of support. I don't know how many members he's got, but when you've got that kind of support, it's it gets easier and easier to get uh, exposure on individual videos. That's for sure. People, right. well, people he's share got that, uh, Tuber Tools too, which is his. Yeah. Which which TubeBuddy promotes. Mm -hmm. So you know, I'm that sure helps. He's something off of that. Yeah, that helps a lot. Yeah, oh, me and Diva. Uh, excuse me, just for a minute, Tim. Mia Diva Rodriguez wants me to explain uh, more clearly on SEO long tails. Okay. Okay. Um, search engine optimization uh, for years has been centered around text, Mia. Uh, it's not exclusively text, but when you hear somebody talking about long tail keywords, you're 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 talking about a phrase that has several words in it. So let's say let's say Tim's channel is is all about uh, tech reviews. Well, that would be one keyword phrase that you would use, but there's going to be a, a ton of uh, of competition for that, but if you if you can segment that and let's say um, tech review of Behringer XR18 in a real environment, that would be a huge long tail keyword. It wouldn't have long. to be that long. Yeah, wouldn't have to be that long. But you know, there's going to be almost zero competition if you can find out that uh, people have been searching on that. And you can do it various ways. There are websites that will show you how. Uh, how many times a, a keyword's been used in a Google or Bing or, or Yahoo. Uh, the best way from from my perspective is I'll go to, because I have an AdWords uh, MCC account, is I'll go through AdWords and I'll start putting in keywords and find out what, uh, you know, similar keyword phrases and, you know, both short and long tail that people are actually searching. Now, one caveat to that, no one but Google or Yahoo or Bing knows exactly who's searching on what. So don't Ever try to, don't ever be fooled by somebody saying, oh, I know exactly how many people are searching on that keyword phrase. They won't let you know the exact number because what that does is it allows spammers the opportunity to game the system. So they keep it pretty close. They'll give a general idea, but they keep the real information pretty guarded. But if you use those tools, you can find out what keywords are, are in, you know, are, are relevant to your video in this, in this instance, and then use those as your tags. Put them in your uh, your content, your titles, um, and and chances are you'll start seeing exposure if people are actually searching on them. Now, just one more minute, Tim. <laughs> Sorry, I got on, got off on a rant here. <laughs> you can actually, and we did this not too long ago. What I call it, search engine roulette, where you type, you start typing in uh, something in the YouTube search engine, you get the autofill. Look for that too. So if you did tech reviews Behringer, you would find out just a whole bunch of different things. Tech tech review Behringer, you know. 1202, Tech Review, Behringer, XR18, 12, 16, whatever it is. And you can start using those as well. The, how, how Google and YouTube use that autofill is that they they compile all the search information on the first few keywords you type in, and then they feed you what they think is relative to that, that keyword phrase. So use those as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, now, I use a tool called key, Keywords Anywhere. Mm-hmm. So as I'm doing those, whether it's in YouTube or Google or Bing, it shows me how many people are searching on that phrase. Yeah, yeah. And now, uh, TubeBuddy does it, VidIQ does it too. Mm -hmm. So they do, they do, and they're close. But but I'm I'm there. There's no question. And in, in fact, Google said it hundreds of times that, that that's not all the data. They can't allow you to have all the data because. Spammers will game it like crazy if they let you know exactly how many people are searching on what, when, where, and why. <laughs> well, you know, YouTube is really pushing that tags are not that important. It's sure. thumbnail and oh, yeah. title. Oh, important. yeah. Well, you know, for, the cool part about that is they can actually read the text in the thumbnails now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they sure can. So that's that's very important. Now, well, they, I think that came about because, you know, they got the uh, Google Translate where you can take a picture of the sign and it translates that sign, you know. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. That's true. all come about from all the uh, technology that they have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And what they, what they, 
one of the reasons they develop that as well is because they don't want people to, uh, um, well, you know, they'll, they'll crack down on, on blatant clickbaiters. They'll click down, they'll, they'll clamp down on people who, uh, uh, have, mm, you know, non PG words in their thumbnails, right. that sort of thing. Yeah. So it's just an effort to try to keep things clean. I get that, <laughs> but, uh, but it's also helpful to know because you should be titling your, your, uh, your, your thumbnails correctly as well. Right. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> here, here I am talking all this and, and I don't, my, my, I, as a cobbler, my children have no shoes. I just don't have any time to SEO my own stuff. <laughs> it's kind of hard to SEO those live streams. Oh yeah. Yeah. But when it uploads, you know, I have every opportunity. It's just finding time to do it. <laughs> yeah, but you don't know what really the subject is going to be a lot of times, you know, That's... you, you plan on one thing, then you got something else, you know, That's true. That is so true. <laughs> Uh, but I do what I can. I, I actually try to think about it beforehand, like this equipment thing. You know, I've, I've got a few small keywords. I don't mess with uh, tags that much for the very reason that you just stated. I um, mean, you're exactly right. They're they're going the way of of meta keywords in the um, the website world. Just too easy to scam. Too easy to to jack with. <laughs> yeah, Arthur Moorhead says long tail is the bomb. I hit page one. <laughs> I hit page one in the Google search most every time with my blog. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. As long as that's a, a long tail keyword that is relevant to uh, your blog post, that is that is wonderful. That is wonderful. And I tell you, it's one of the reasons I got into it because there's nothing like um, matching your intellect with an algorithm, you know, and seeing if you can beat it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think it's a lot of lot of fun uh, i like the challenge like that you know yeah i think first looks to dig into analytics into uh facts and <laughs> figures yep me too me too <laughs> oh yeah it's it's it never ends man it's it's uh not only that but they keep changing the algorithm so it just keeps us on our toes am i right well they don't keep changing it the, the ai does changes itself depending on it's learning all the time Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was talking mainly about the, you know, releases like, uh, oh, what was the last one? Was it, they, they always name it after some animal or something like penguin. And, uh, oh, I can't, can't remember the last ones, but occasionally they do, they do large ones when they, when they figure out that, uh, the spammers have, have nailed them. I figured it out. <laughs> Good for you, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's an ending <laughs> process there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But right now they're having problems with, uh, you know, they're shutting down Google Plus, mm -hmm. and you can't update your banners or your uh, icons because it's all tied to Google Plus. Mm -hmm. Well, they should have thought of that. I know, I know. But somebody didn't. <laughs> well, you know, it's when you get that big. Yeah, that's uh, that first world problems. But it's it's one of those things where. It, it, it gets away from you real fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I imagine the amount of code that's in YouTube is just outrageous, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And and we know how tough that is, um, especially with uh, with notifications. I don't know how many times. Yeah, I don't know how many times I'll get notifications long after the show is done. Well, it's getting better. Yeah, it has its times. But if you ever notice, if you open up a new browser or browser window, it... it feeds them all to you again. It yeah. Just, it just drives me nuts. Just drives me nuts. <clears throat> yeah. Well, you know, that one program that uh, I showed you that I wrote, you know, it, it's, it's got uh, maybe two and a half million lines of code in it. Mm. Wow. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right now, and I figured by the time I'm finished with it, I'll probably have four. <laughs> so. Coast Life 252 is back. Yeah. Welcome to the show, man. Yeah, that was an impressive program. I I, uh, I enjoyed looking at that. Um, it's um, that, that brings a lot back to me because I've I've created a lot of interfaces for those. Yeah, you did a, you did a great job on that, man. <laughs> <laughs> I still th I still say you got to get your channel up. You get some get some you know quick subscribers. <laughs> get get a good jump on it. <laughs> I'm gonna get it up. I'm gonna get it up this week. Guys. <laughs> 
I just got the new mic. I bought a backup microphone too, so I'm I'm covered here. I even bought a uh, as as D or Nick keeps boasting the boy at. Mm. <laughs> 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 what is that uh cj mile brian in the house how you doing man thanks for thanks for stopping by <clears throat> yeah I, I know you got your channel art ready um and i don't i don't remember if you had your icon ready your avatar but uh dude, yeah, yeah. I, I just used the uh, center of the uh, channel art the logo sure sure so yeah but uh you know, uh, keep hearing Nick and D and them talk about it. They're saying a face does better than the logo. So <laughs> I don't know. Well, that, that, that inspired me. That's why, that's why I went with the old thumbs up. I was going to do the same thing that Nick had and, and he already, uh, he already had that. I wasn't going to copy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm really excited about, uh, seeing what you're going to do, man. And, and even, even working with you. Cause, um, uh, cause I think, you know, I, I got a crap ton of uh, equipment laying around that I'm sure we could, after you get done with your, your initial pile or during it, who knows? <laughs> but I, I figure I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do one that's on the uh, new uh, uh, studio beta. Oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, how to get through it and everything like that is all mapped out. So I'm going to provide a PDF for it. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so you could just like, oh, I need to do this. Okay, to go here, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but it's not all done yet, so I don't want to release it for that <laughs> day. It's done, you know. I hear you. I hear you. But, um, got a good start on it, so. <laughs> I don't want you to get analysis paralysis, though. <laughs> Lord knows I'm susceptible. Hey, uh, Jelly Duck. Uh, no, uh, on on the normal weeknight shows, he asked if he should join on panel. On the normal weeknight shows, it's usually just one on one, and and I'll talk for as long as the uh, as the guest wants to, and then you know if somebody else wants to come on later, why well, I'll, I'll bring you on. Uh, the the multi panel is actually my Friday idea, you know when I like to throw back a few and maybe I'll just open it up. And I think I think we might use Google Hangouts. I'm going to do a test of that soon so I can uh, um, use it as long as we can until it goes away. <laughs> There's talk about it going away as well. What's that? Yeah. Well, Hangout's supposed to be going away too. That's what I mean. Yeah, there, there's talk about it going away too. I figured I'll just use it until uh, until I can no longer use it. If if it turns out to be a better uh, option than than the multi zoom, because we um, didn't you come in late last night? Was that was that last night or um, Friday night? I don't remember which. Um, but anyway, I, we we did a whole zoom thing and I had like three on uh, at once and it was okay. <laughs> you just need to work with it a bit more and i just uh, didn't see that part of it oh yeah yeah. it was very short i had both uh, uh jelly duck 100 on and i had uh sonia uh on and then then i had some um uh, yes mia diva i am using we're using zoom right now but i also had uh some kids come on and and throw a bad word out a couple times which i've i've edited out of the video <laughs> yeah. oh you know. you're gonna get the trolls man you're going to get the trolls yeah. whenever you're doing a live show like this. <laughs> the haters will be the haters, man. Yeah, and kids will be kids. <laughs> right, yeah. Silly bastards uh, showed themselves on camera, though. I was shocked. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, it, didn't, it looked like they didn't mean to. Yeah. But it was funny because they kept swinging their phone around before they, they did their little, you know, inward, inward, inward. And <laughs> it's like, great. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it'll be 11 again. <laughs> well, you know, even Nick's got them too, you know, on his channel. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the spammers. Jelly Duck, yeah. Jelly Duck, you have a good day, man. I know it's uh, it's like 6 or almost 7 a.m. and you're, uh, you're Nathan Nape. He's from Kuwait. He was on last night. Yeah, and he's got to go to work. The Trolls, Wisco Style in the house. How you doing, man? <laughs> Thanks for coming in. <clears throat> Yeah, Zoom is great. Right now, for some reason, we've got that that little weird uh, audio thing going on. But it, that may be on my side. We're going to do, you know, when we get more guests on, we'll, we'll see if it, if it follows. I don't, I don't know if it will or not. We'll see. But, uh... Right. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
Well, Tim, we're going to have to have enough coffee here soon, man. Sit yeah, down and exactly. sit down and talk. Yeah. Sit well, down. They, well, they closed that place we was at. Did they really? Yeah, they uh, built a new standalone down at the Keystone of Crossing now. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I, I can't believe that they actually did that because I think they could have supported both of them easily. You would think so. Castleton. You know, two different crowds. You know, you got the Castleton Mall, then you got the Keystone Mall. Mm -hmm. People from Castleton aren't going to drive all the way down to Keystone for lunch. No, no. And so, that's... you know, they said, well, this is place that's old and outdated. I said, well, <laughs> this place, close this one, do a remodel, and open it back up. Right, right. That's what I would have done, but, you know, well, it's, it's, it's not my story. It's not like they're missing any houses or, or traffic. For God's sakes, right. that 82nd Street is just a uh, parking lot most of the time. So I can't even can't even imagine why. <laughs> and, and the store's smaller and there's less parking. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what they're thinking about. Who knows? It wasn't the easiest place to get into when you're coming from um, uh, from the uh, from the west. But uh, from the west, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. Oh well, like you said, it's not our business. <laughs> wish it was but you know it's not yeah. <laughs> it's funny you say that my, my my wife was uh she she's so so ready to retire she was actually talking oh, maybe we could open up a fast food restaurant i said oh no yeah i said no <laughs> no uh, you don't we don't want that uh thanks for thanks for coming man uh looks like uh coast life uh 252 has got to go yeah got to get you on the show sometime my man uh, but yeah, I, I said, no, honey, we're, we're not going to do that. <laughs> right. Uh, well, I, I managed a uh, Dairy Queen for 30, 30 years. Oh, did you? Oh yeah. You can't imagine the health problems. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> uh, people that can't count change back, you know, or no shows and stuff, you know, mm -hmm. oh, my gosh. And, you know, most of it is teenagers. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, the adults don't want to work it. Yeah, unless so. they unless they have to. And uh, I tell you, I, let me ask you this. Um, did you see that get progressively worse uh, your entire time there? Yeah. yeah. Isn't that strange? Well, and, and this area would even be worse, you know, you know, because it's the, the families are more influential. They have more money. So the kids are used to getting everything handed to them. Yeah. Yeah. Parents want to go out to work. Well, I don't really have to. Mm -hmm. That's a <laughs> that's a big problem. And you know, in the uh, restaurant business or in a business, you know, if you've got those type of employees and you're trying to retire, you're going to be working. There's oh, no yeah. doubt about it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and that's what I'm trying to press. See now, now I get to show her this little clip. <laughs> <laughs> It'll turn her right away from it. <laughs> you know, my mom and dad also, they own that Dairy Queen, and they also had an amusement park. Oh, too. really? Yeah, so we, they had a uh, merry-go-round was like 90 years old at the time when they bought it. It was all wooden horses and wooden chariots, three abreast wow. on the horse and stuff. I mean, it was awesome. We <laughs> had people that didn't work for us that used to work for the amusement park years ago. And every year they would come. It was a like a day celebration of setting up that marriage around. Wow! It wasn't uh, Riverside Park, was it? No, it was uh, just a small park over in Illinois. Oh, okay, okay. Had you ever heard of Riverside? Yeah. Yeah. Riverside, yeah. yeah. My my father used to take me there all the time. Yeah. All the time. So. Oh. <laughs> that would have been. We that had uh, paratroopers and paddle boats, and we had an arcade area. We had miniature golf. We mm -hmm. had the merry-go-round bumper cars. We had a train. <laughs> mm. um, we had kitty rides. We had tilt world. <laughs> had a Ferris wheel. Had rocket planes at one time. You know, mm -hmm. had the swings. You know. Yep. You know? Yep. Various different things. We wanted to get an octopus before we sold it, but we didn't. <laughs> Probably could have got Kings Islands. <laughs> Funny you say that. I I live like two blocks from Santa Claus Land. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. The holiday world. Yeah, yeah. 
I yeah. lived down there for several years. Wow. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I've never been to Holiday World. Yeah. I was yeah. there when I was a kid, then actually moved there and worked <laughs> for, uh, worked in Jasper, Indiana, mm. which I thought, let's well, see, I lived in Illinois, worked in Indiana, and there was the time difference, you know? I thought, oh, wow, I'm going to move down there and get away from this time difference hour shift. Mm -hmm. uh, Jasper's on one time, Santa Claus is on another time. <laughs> <laughs> well, back then, was it just half a year when we didn't uh, observe uh, daylight savings? Yeah, we didn't observe that. So, so. I miss those days, man. I hate ta daylight savings. Oh, I do too. I, there's talk about them trying to change it back. God, I hope they do. I hope they do. <clears throat> it just sucks, man. They wake up when it's dark go to bed when it's dark it's just you know you won't actually get off work when it's dark it just sucks well they're they're trying to they're trying to uh, uh satisfy the <clears throat> evansville people and the chicago people yeah well they're not going to shop in evansville and they're not going to mm -hmm. shop in indiana you know when they're living in chicago you know it's that's all there is to it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's what they're thinking that it's going to help that and it's yeah. not well, you know, they had that they had that carved out. All Lake County and, and all those up there, they had that carved out for uh, uh for central time. I don't know yeah. why. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. <sighs> don't get me started on daylight savings time. <laughs> oh, another <that was> show. <laughs> yeah, I know. I sh I should do an entire show on on bring back Indiana East. <laughs> bring back railroads for that too right yeah i know right <laughs> <laughs> well tim it's uh it's again this this is uh great I, I was i was hoping you'd come on the show sometime soon yeah we're heading up to the top of the hour so i may have to call it another one i got i got uh i got tile guys coming in at uh 8 30 in the morning and i haven't been oh, sleeping oh. for shit so <laughs> it's just weather you know when it goes when it drops 40 degrees or raises 40 degrees in a day you know mm -hmm. on that. i read a study on that and the, the study says that it actually makes you sleepy wow <laughs> you know, people wake up tired they're mm -hmm. tired all day you know and it's not it's not good for us no no not not at all. biological clock doesn't like that you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah it's um <clears throat> Uh, that, I, I think that in age is is uh, the biggest factor. <laughs> right, right. I can remember when I I didn't like to take naps at all, but now I want to do it all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's kind of uncomfortable, you know, when you're when somewhere and just want to nod off. <laughs> uncomfortable for everybody else. I'm not talking about me, so. <laughs> Especially when you nod off and you start snoring, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mia, don't don't tell us about how nice the weather you've got down there. She's down in Florida. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you, you probably had to break out the, uh, the closed-toed shoes here in the last couple months, didn't you? <laughs> got so yeah, got so problem. cold. I know, hon. <laughs> Well, listen, Tim, like I said, it was great, man. It's um, okay, been on about an hour. I, I got to have you back. Um, and in fact, we, we've we got to set up another uh, uh, coffee time so we can we can talk about what we were just talking about tonight uh, is uh, is getting together. And you got to get your channel up, man. You got to yeah. get your channel up. I'm, I'm dying to see what uh, what, what you're going to do with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, like I said, the first one's the intro. And I think I got that title figured out on it and everything. So Cool. Cool. All right. Thing. Uh, I got another one on uh, Windows 10. Mm. Oh, Updates. yeah. Yeah. That'll be a good one. That'd be a good I'll one. I'll stop them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll be a real good one. <laughs> yes. I, I think a lot of people will watch that one. I mean, it's kind of off of what my norm is, but there's a lot of talk about that right now. And I mm -hmm. think a lot of YouTubers that use Windows 10 on their PC, you know, especially if they're doing live streaming or any type of editing and stuff, you know. Yeah, it's the last thing you want to see pop up. Yeah. Mm -hmm, well, mm -hmm. and let's say you go to the coffee shop, <clears throat> you're sitting there and all of a sudden you go shut down, you're already late for your meeting. It says, don't shut me off. I'm updating. <laughs> Come on now. 
Yeah, thanks, Windows. <laughs> yeah. And now you're even later. Yeah, and exactly. Corrupted <laughs> your whole hard drive probably. Mm hmm yeah, yeah. it's not going to boot in how much more time you can spend. <laughs> well, that'll be a good one. That'll be a good one for so many. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Tim. That's well, mainly going to be YouTube focused, but I think that's part of YouTube. So, mm -hmm. you know, because a lot of people are editing on the PCs, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we look forward so, to it, man. We look forward to it. Yeah, when you got some time, we'll try to set up a date. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thanks. Okay. Thanks again, man. <laughs> we'll catch you later. Then. All righty. Did you enjoy this video? Well, you made it to the end, so I'm going to assume you did. If you want to see where this takes us, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell right now so you don't miss out on future videos and guests. Also, make sure to comment, like, and share our videos to help us build this unique community. Thanks again for watching, and remember to always treat others as you want to be treated. See you live!